Indiana Jones is out, the Dial of Destiny, and is not doing as well as they wanted it to. They're expecting 180 million opening weekend. They were hoping for that. That's what they're expecting. It was a 295 million dollar budget, and with that kind of bucks going into this, they need wow. to make money in this. Let's go back in time, though. Let me let's go back in time. So the very first Raiders of the uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, yeah, Raiders of the Ark, yeah. Raiders of the Last Ark, right? Yeah, that's what it is. Raiders. Yeah. So Raiders made, I mean, you go back in time, it made $8.3 million opening weekend. Now you translate that to today's currency, about $31.5 million. Not a bad opening. This one made $82.5 million, so it did better, of course, than the first one. Overall, that movie made $354 million. Temple of Doom, well, how'd that do? That made $33.9 million. And today's average, $106.4 million. So it didn't do as well as Temple of Doom. But, you know, it's working its way up. Overall, that made $331 million. Still, Raiders of the Lost Ark is doing the best. Last Crusade comes out in 89. It made $37 million opening weekend. Translates to today, $77.5 million opening weekend. Not as good. That one's but the still, best one. <laughs> but still pretty good. What's the best? It's the best one. Yeah, overall, though. Overall, Rachel, though? Thanks, GR. Welcome back. Overall, that one made the best out of the original three at $474.2 million. No, so it did the best. Good. Did the best, adjusted. But what movie did the best overall? Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. That's right, everybody. Did the best out of all the Indiana Jones movies. <laughs> Opening weekend, $185 million. Overall, it made $790 million. So people trash talk that movie a lot. Of course, it's not anybody's favorite, I don't think. I think there's a lot of hype that went into that movie. And so that's why people came out to see it. They were excited to see Indy back and yeah, wearing the hat, yeah, whipping yeah. people, you know what I mean? In that refrigerator, you know, swinging through their vines with monkeys. They love that. They wanted to see Indy back, and that's what they got. <laughs> but it didn't do that. I mean, people, it's not critically acclaimed. That's why this one happened. But what do you think? Do we think that Indiana Jones is going to fail, or will it do better than Crystal Skull? What do you think, Rachel? I see you, you know, itching at the bit right there. <laughs> I think Crystal Skull is why this movie is doing so poorly. Because back in, like, what was it, 2009 when Crystal Skull came out, we were all super excited. Like, I went opening weekend. I'm a huge India Jones fan. And we were all so excited. And then that movie fucking came out. And it was the biggest disappointment of most people's, like, cinematic experience that year. Um, Nobody liked it. It was dumb. It was a bad movie. So I think people are really hesitant to see this one because of Crystal Skull. Myself included. I haven't seen this one yeah. yet. And I love Indiana Jones. I know. I haven't gone to see it either. Of course, COVID and all that. And I was gone. But still, mm -hmm. it's like I haven't been rushing to the theater to go see it. And a lot of people haven't been rushing to the theater to go see it. So it's it's one of those things where, you know, you get the opening numbers. And that $82.5 is over all of 4th of July weekend. So you're talking about opening Thursday all the way to Tuesday. That's a big opening weekend. It made only 60 million over the weekend. Then Monday and Tuesday brought another 20. So, I mean, it's good, but it's not great for something this big. And you're right. There's, there's fatigue at the franchise. People don't trust it. After Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, they all came out in waves to see that. And now they're like, well, we do it. It's the very last one. It's very unfortunate. I've heard good things about it but i've also heard a lot of comparisons to the crystal skull about how his mm -hmm. granddaughter character is very much falling in line with the shia labeouf character which you don't really care for that much Honestly, and she's shia apparently LaBeouf very mean the worst part the aliens the fucking aliens were the worst <laughs> part of crystal skull they didn't seem very indiana jones did they no it's no you know, i think the south park episode put it best when they commented on crystal skull what would they say i can't remember that would they um, there was a whole episode where they, they had George Lucas and and the the Indiana Jones franchise and and he uh, was very inappropriate towards it. I don't I don't want to repeat it because I don't want this to get demonetized. But... Right, we don't need that. <laughs> we, we got enough. We're burning enough bridges here on cruise control as always. You know it kind of happens. <laughs> Definitely not keen on seeing an Indiana Jones. Yeah, you know that's the thing. Uh, spazic weasel yeah yeah w welcome to cruise control yeah that's the thing a lot of people haven't been that excited about it and the thing is again the crystal skull there were so many changes too and i've heard about that for this there are a lot of changes in this too apparently they weren't really sure how to end it they shot multiple endings there's apparently a cameo at the ending and that's cool and all but she was supposed to be a bigger part in the overall arc mm -hmm. of the whole movie before they changed a bunch, a bunch of things so this is how it goes in hollywood you know you change 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 reshoot 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 hope for the best it racks that budget way up and then we get what we get 
Mike, are you excited about this? Is this? These numbers make sense to you? What do you think about Indiana Jones not doing as well as people thought it would opening weekend? Makes no fucking sense to me. Goddamn spending $300 million on the next one after Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Uh, I just looked it up because I saw a $295 million budget before advertising. Very before advertising, I'm, Mike. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about you know you could the hospitals you could build. I'm thinking about the uh, or if you lean more right wing, the jet fighters. That's like that's a, <laughs> top tier. It, it took a lot of money to de age Harrison Ford. That man. Yeah, yeah, that's that's probably that's probably where the majority of the budget went. Uh, yeah, you I guess I guess whatever bad algorithm is uh, is telling us where we should be putting money these days sees that kingdom of the crystal skull like oh that's the that had the biggest open a weekend that's the most popular indiana jones movie that's the one that everybody really likes no guys that doesn't mean you should spend 300 million dollars uh on on more of this uh that said um and i think that your take is very sage rachel i hadn't thought about it, about it like that but like that absolutely makes sense the 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 converse to that is that uh my wife who had some free time and was like oh i'm gonna watch go watch a movie by by myself which she doesn't usually do so i'm happy like it's great she went and did that like what a great way to spend some time go watching a movie by yourself she had like just her expectations were bottom of the barrel in the pits going in to see it so she came out of it being like a flawed movie but i enjoyed myself because i Good. went in expecting i was going to spend twenty dollars on pure absolute garbage i got what i was looking for good and that that very well could have been part of why uh crystal skull was so disappointing is because like the last one you had just come off of was yeah. last crusade and like how do you beat last crusade how do you even meet it it's so fucking good I, and I then they give us the best one it's still it's the, the best, best one it's I... objectively the junior! best one junior <laughs> <laughs> you can't yeah. be so like you can't you can't as bsp so said can't. yeah i bet phoebe's great in this too i know she's a phenomenal actress and i know a lot of people have been raving about her performance but i've also heard that she's like very uh like angry in this too and so that's one thing people were saying it's like she's mean to harrison ford and that's why people get mad about her character but i just think it's fatigue and i also think on top of that you know it's again what rachel was saying you're coming off a crystal skull people are pissed off and it's like there was no like oomph to get people out and it's unfortunate because the last time that indies be wearing this hat and i love to see him come back because i love harrison ford it's unfortunate he's like eight years old and and he says he can't do it anymore <laughs>